and welcome to another California Guy video with your host Cali Guy. What's up, everybody? I'm here to do another video, a follow up to my painless coons and the black people getting. I mean, this video is entitled. It's not really more about. It's about painless ideology, but it's about black people like him holding back black Americans in the United States. Now, here's a problem with people like painless. Painless has this snide attitude towards African Americans. He thinks that we're at fault whenever we cry for justice. This is a black man, and uh, along with other coons, because uh, the funny part about coons is that coons tend to talk down about black people, embrace white supremacy, but still talks about black topics. Why? Why do coons make it a point to talk about all measures of black culture and black entertainment when they hate black people and if they feel the way they feel about black people then go join some white social media that's it there are some coons that actually do do this but I'm asking people like panelists and anybody anybody else that's in the social media uh, background to join up with the white people why do you stick on black sectors? Why do you stick on black BTR shows? All black BTR shows? Why do you want to comment on black culture when you're going to tear it down anyway? You're already angry whenever uh, a white man kills a black person. You're angry at the black victims. That's what I find laughable. <laughs> you're mad at the black victims. You're not mad at the white police officer for killing the black kids or a black woman or a black baby if a black and this is how stupid some of these coons are like painless. If a black baby was killed by a white cop, they'll say that it's the black baby's fault because the black baby should have been crying. Get the fuck out of my face with that. That's absolutely the stu the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. So I try to figure out like for example the coons would say, Oh, well there's a lot of lazy black people. Well there's a lot of lazy white people. Why don't you point out that? If you're going to point out lazy white people, point out, I mean lazy black people, I'm sorry. If you're going to point out lazy black people, point out lazy white people. If you're going to point out black on black crimes, point out white on white crimes. Because there's more white people in the country than black people. There's more black people, white people that's going to suffer from violence than black people. Yes, there's black people that get killed in the ghetto, but it's not as much as white people. You got more white serial killers, more white predators, more white gangsters. You have more white everything. And... I don't see no Negroes going after these honkies that's killing each other. Because if you're going to say that you're going to go after black, you got to go after whites too. Because it's fair they do more of it. you got more whites on food stamps. But yet, they keep flipping it back on black people. They, the coons want to hold black people to a high standard that's so high. They want us to be this leadership. And you guys get so angry at us African American people for wanting equality and a fair shake in this country. You're mad because we want the same rights that white people have. And that's to be successful in the United States. That's to have justice in the courtroom. You're mad at that. And I'm not saying this. This is a side note to some of these, to some of my pro-black brothers. Some of them, you guys, I don't agree with you. I don't mean if you're in the commission of a crime. That you go out there and commit a crime like it's the Wild Wild West. And then a cop can't gun you down. Now, if you're going to be a criminal and you're going to do criminal acts, then you should be brought to justice, whether it's through death or through uh, shackles. So, if you're an aspiring criminal, I am not giving that a pass. But I'm talking about innocent blacks who may have a, may have had a pass, but you know maybe you know they got like the uh, situation in New York where the guy was selling loose cigarettes, but he had a pass with the police. So I'm not talking about situations like that. I have to separate both of those. But I'm just asking the coons one favor. Can you please go on to the white sector and mess with the white people? Go deal with their white issues. Do not mess with the black sectors or the black BTRs or the black Twitters or the black whatever. Just don't mess with it because you seem to be aggravated when it comes to black people. You're aggravated, painless. He's made videos on Trayvon Martin. He's made videos trashing black businesses, saying that we shouldn't do it. He's made videos on Monique. He's made videos on all kinds of goofy shit, you know. And this guy watches black media. He watches News One. He watches BET because 
he's evidently quoting that stuff. Or he's watching our videos. He's watching a lot of black YouTube. Watch some white people videos, man. Go make some white friends. Go on. We don't want you. Most of you we don't want you no more. Go on to the white uh, people, the white racist people. Not all white people. But go on to the white racist individuals. Peace.